In this video, we are going to see if there's, we're going to set up an experiment to see if there's a difference between rooting the terminal and subterminal uh, portions of a stem. So this is a variegated hydrangea, and uh, when I look at this, I have this nice uh, spot here that was probably last year's growth. This is going to be this year's growth, and I want to make sure that when I'm making my cutting, I've got um, enough node tissue down here that I can still have a leaf. This will be my subterminal cutting. And then I want to have enough nodes up here uh, and retain this apical tip. So I need uh, 20 cuttings with the apical tips. We're going to see what kind of a role that tip uh, plays in our rooting success. So we'll probably just use like our index finger for measure on this so that we can get something that we like. And when I cut this plant, I want to make sure that it can still grow and function and be good and be good looking. So uh, when I cut the plant, I want to cut it right above a node um, like this. And then I'm going to immediately put this cutting in water. Whenever I dip this in hormone and stuff, I'm going to cut off this inner node. But this gives me a little bit of space that the plant can start to dry out um, that I'm going to cut off anyways uh, before I do actually stick it. So um, it doesn't really matter as much if I've got a little bit of space there. So we, we need to do about 20 of these cuttings. It's one. Uh, and I don't like to leave the inner nodes hang out here anyways because the plant's going to look bad. It's going to start to grow from these points, so we want it to have the ability to do that without having this long stick just hanging out in front of it. Here's a pretty nice looking one. We'll call that three. And we're just going through and we're just kind of pruning as we go and clipping off ones that look good. Or we, want, we want ones that are fairly straight. This one has a little bit of a curve to it. Um, whenever we start to grow the plant, the plant will start to curve a little bit, so that's kind of funky. Uh, but we sometimes just have to make do with whatever we have available. So now that we've made all of these individual cuttings, um, we are ready to try to uh, complete our experiment by making a terminal and a subterminal cutting and then sticking those in their respective places. Again, we're going to go through and we're going to kind of pre-drill these holes so that whenever we put um, our plant into the rooting hormone and then into the soil, um, it doesn't just wipe off all of our rooting hormone. And we're going to do 20 of each of these. Sure, why not? Okay, so now that we are ready to um, do these cuttings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this plant here, and I'll probably cut about here so that I have uh, this nice subterminal cut, and then I have this top piece. And uh, with these, you can you can kind of just peel off the leaves on this one. They don't tend to rip quite as much because they're a little bit more succulenty, so you can kind of just pick them off. Um, and then since I have like two leaves on this one with a couple of subtending uh, pieces, I'm going to also leave two giant leaves on this one and we'll just, uh, see, actually, you know what, these leaves are pretty big. I think I'm going to cut the leaves in half on both for the big giant leaves, but I'll leave those two leaves there in general. Okay, so there we go. Now we have something like this for our subterminal cutting and something like this for our terminal cutting. And we are ready to go ahead and um, stick these. Okay. All right, so this is just going to be a dip and stick. We're going to use our Bontone 2 rooting powder like we had before. Oh, look at that. I almost forgot to trim off my inner node at the base. Tisk tisk. So here we go, we're going to cut off this inner node piece at the end. And now we're ready to dip and stick. And then I want to make sure that I pay attention to where I put my label. So it looks like the subterminal cutting is going to go on this side. And we'll just stick that in like that. And then our terminal cutting is going to go on the other side. So we'll dip and stick like that. You know what, maybe I'll just do like two or three more of these um, so that you can really See, and then I'm going to cut these in half. And that's already pretty close to the base. 
some of these have really, really short um, inner nodes, and so there wasn't really a lot to have to cut off of. Okay, so we're peeling these off, and we'll keep these. There's two here, and then our little apical mare stem on the inside. Dip and stick. Uh, and you want to make sure that the top node, uh, definitely where the apical mare stem is, is not touching the soil. Okay, here we go. We'll clip this one to. It's got kind of a short top, so maybe we'll just go here. And these are pretty small, so maybe I won't worry about cutting these two in half since they're about the same surface area um, of some of the, the leaves that we did clip in half. So, so here's the one that we clipped in half. Here's one that I'm not really going to worry about clipping in half. Got my nose down there. Dip and stick. Okay. Oh, and then here's my terminal piece. And we can just kind of peel those off. My inner node is already pretty short down here, um, so I'm not going to worry about trimming that again. And then I've got these kind of big things here. You know, I think I like the idea of having the three nodes underneath the soil here. There's one, two, three. So I am going to pick these two leaves off. But since they're a little bit closer to that apical meristem, I'm probably just going to um, pinch it with my fingers instead of just tearing because I don't want to snap that shoot tip off, especially if I have limited material. Okay, so there we go. Um, here are a couple. Here are a couple of these um, in this tray, and I'm going to do 20. Uh, and then in a couple of weeks, just like we did with the chrysanthemums, we'll calculate rooting success on this as either a success or failure sort of thing.